In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to encrypt your system drive or basically encrypt your whole computer and make it safe with all the data inside. This is my preferred method to protect my data or protect my computer. Many businesses use this for sensitive information and the best part about TrueCrypt is it uses very strong encryption, it's basically unbreakable and it's free. Um, for this tutorial I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded TrueCrypt and installed it. If you haven't, go to TrueCrypt.org to the download section and install the appropriate version for your computer. And for this tutorial, if you're following along at home or don't want to do it yourself, you'll need to actually burn a rescue disk, an ISO file. Um, this can be done using your burning software with your operating system. So if on a Mac, you'll, you need to use the appropriate burning software or on Linux, but I'm using Windows 7. And I could use the built-in Windows one, or I like to use IMG Burn, okay, which is also free. Another option, if you're on Windows, is to use um, WinCDEMU. And basically, it's like burning um, the software, except you ac don't actually burn a physical disk. And if you install this program, basically you just right click on the ISO file that it creates and you mount it to a drive just like basically burning a CD and inserting it into the drive. Okay, I'm, I, I'm actually going to use this method so I don't actually have to burn a CD. It might sound complicated now but it's, it's quite easy to follow along. If you're going to follow along this way please um, download WinCDEMU and install it on your computer. So with TrueCrypt, double click on TrueCrypt and we need to go to System, Encrypt System Partition Drive. Okay. Choose the normal mode here and the area to encrypt is, to encrypt, is the whole, uh, encrypt the whole drive. Click Next and you want to click Yes here to the hosted, host protected area. Next, the number of operating systems. Most people, this will be the option, a single boot. If you have a multiple boot machine, you're probably an advanced user, and you'll know to use this. If you don't know about your computer, the best guess is the single boot. Okay, click Next. And the AES with the Rheindahl cipher is the one that you'll want to use. You have options to choose other ones, but the default is fine, and that's what I'm going to use. So click Next. Now you need to choose a password. Uh, TrueCrypt recommends a password of more than 20 characters. If you use a shorter one, um, it's going to be less secure, and TrueCrypt will give you a warning. So choose a password. So if you've typed the password correctly twice, you'll have the option to click Next. And basically you move your mouse around randomly for a little while. And then when you're finished, click Next. Okay, now TrueCrypt is uh, forcing you to have a rescue disk. Okay, this is in, ca in case something bad happens during the process and what I'm going to do is save this rescue disk onto the desktop to a, a rescue disk, it's an ISO file. Click Save. This one. And here's the prompt where it says to burn uh, the disk image okay, using Windows software or a different program. So click OK. And in my case, what I'm going to do is right click 
and select drive letter and mount so if you've installed WinCVEMU you'll get this option yes and then mount it to a drive letter and basically it looks like I've mounted it to the Q drive so that's the equivalent of burning a CD putting into the drive and making sure that TrueCrypt knows that you've burned the, the rescue disk. Okay, so when this is finished, you've either burnt the CD or you've done it the same way I have using WinCD EMU. Click Next. So you can see that TrueCrypt disk has been successfully verified. Okay, stored in a safe place. Click Next. Okay, you have to choose the white mode. There's many different options. Generally, this one is the easiest. Okay, you can read through this. I'm going to choose this method right here. Okay, system encryption pretest. Okay, basically, it's going to run a test, see if everything's fine, which it probably will be. You enter your password and it goes through the process of encrypting your whole system drive. So here we go. Click test. Print this if you'd like or read through it. And your computer must be restarted. So click yes. So here's the bootloader sequence. So your password that you chose earlier is the one you use now. Okay, you'll most likely get this and it's successful so you want to make sure everything's plugged in if you have a laptop plug it in so once you read this message and you feel comfortable click encrypt and now it goes through the process of encrypting the whole drive if you have a big hard drive this could take hours and hours as you can see, it's going along, 1% is done already, and it's estimating about 20 some odd minutes. So you sit through it and wait for it to finish. Okay, I'm going to jump ahead or edit the video and then show you what happens after this is finished. Here's an example of what happens when you restart your computer. So that's the process of encrypting your computer and locking in all the data. But there's one more step. Okay, what we're going to do is open up TrueCrypt again and change the message that happens when you boot up your computer. You open up TrueCrypt and you go System Settings. And you want to check this box right here. And you see the message and basically it makes it look like the computer is frozen. So this is another layer of security. Now you can type a message in here. For example, you could type um, please return to and your email address or your phone number in case you lose your laptop. So hopefully someone can return it to you. But there's no way they can get your data. You could put a false error message on your computer and when it boots up people think, oh, something's broken or something doesn't work. Like, for example, uh, there's a missing DLL file, or the operating system 
doesn't work, etc. So you can type in a message right here to fool the person that uh, starts up your computer. So for example, missing OS, so the missing operating system. Or you can put loading like this. And this is the only message that comes up. Quick exit and let's restart the computer.